And first of all, we're bringing our attention to the present moment. And what does the present moment mean for you? Very present moment. And not the moment that was here five minutes ago. And not the moment that's going to be here in five minutes' time. But this moment now. And this moment now. And you see, there can never be a past or a future. There truly can only be the present moment now. And it's in the present moment now where we have the opportunity to choose how we will see this moment, how we will see this moment, and this moment. And we have the power of choice, the power of our own co-creative source of self to choose in this moment, peace. I choose peace. Right now, I choose peace. And you realize that if you go back into the past, or project yourself in the future, then you are calling upon those parts of yourself from the past. You're calling upon the parts of yourself from the past. And the parts of yourself from the past are made up of stories and ideas and beliefs and concepts and thoughts. So why would you keep on going back to the past when you can choose the present moment? The present moment that peace is. And before you project what it's going to be like to be tomorrow or in a situation next week, when you think of projecting yourself into a situation that has to occur tomorrow or in a week's time, then you've moved out of the present moment and you've moved into the possibilities of stress that may occur in the event that you projected into your future. But in this moment, the present moment, there is only peace. So we choose only peace. I am a peaceful being. I am a peaceful being. And your attention is inward to that peaceful being that lies deep within, beneath the mind, below the stream of thoughts, further down to the heart. And when you look deeply into the heart, into the center of your being, you will notice that you can tap into an inner peace. And even more so, if you drop your attention down further, and let it fall down into your belly. You drop down even deeper into an ocean of peace. And you breathe into that ocean of peace, very deeply down into your belly, into the ocean, the abyss, the very depth of your being. And you see the peace is always here. Peace is always available. The peace never leaves. We only leave it if our attention moves back into the past or projects into the future. But if we stay present in this moment of being, I am a peaceful being. 
And if every moment we remember with every breath that we take, I am a peaceful being. I am a peaceful being. And you remember that that peaceful being is with you in the present moment, here and here. And here. It never leaves. And so when we take that peaceful being with us, or better said that we remember that that peaceful being is who I am, that there is nothing that moves away from it or that can be taken from it. There's only the self that moves, the objects that move within that peace. We can take our bodies in that space and we can remember that space, peace, is deep within, always here. It's within us and it is all around us. That peace is the awareness that is aware. It is aware of the deep peace within. And it is also at peace that is without the field, peaceful, silent field that surrounds us beyond the body. So the peace is deep within the body and that peace is empty. It is spacious. It is deep. It is deeper. It is deeper still. It is what we are within. Silence, container. An invisible field that touches your skin. The invisible field that is eternal beyond the body, beyond the room, beyond your house, beyond the earth, further into the cosmos. The earth is within a container of peace that is the silence of the cosmos. The same silence that is the container in which we are all within is also the same peace, the same silence that is within. They are one and the same. The body arises within that silence, in that peace. And yet when the body moves out of the way, same peace is always here. Peace itself never leaves. Only the objects leave, come and go. They arise within the ground of peace. They stay for a while. And just like the body, eventually they die. They change form. And the material form falls away, dissolves back into the timeless, eternal, empty, spacious, boundless ocean of peace. It's all around us, it is within us. It is the essence of our being. It is the awareness, it is loving awareness. I am the awareness. It is your I amness 
that is able to hear these words. They can understand the words, your own awareness, not your body, not your ears, because the body and the ears don't move beyond the planet. Your body and your ears don't move into the cosmos. But the same awareness that is aware within the body sitting in the room, the same awareness that is the center of the cosmos, that is your true nature, that is your I am presence. I am presence that is called a body. My I, my higher self, is the movement from the very, very beginning. The I rises like the star that rises. The I rises as the Big Bang. First there was nothing, and then out of the nothingness, I arose as the Big Bang. I is your becoming, the ground of being, the emptiness, the darkness. That is your being, absolute pure beingness. I arises from being into becoming. I am. I become something out of nothing. I arise as an object out of nothing subject. And here I am today with all of the wisdom that has finally, after billions of years, able to reflect back upon this wisdom so that consciousness itself becomes conscious of itself. Consciousness becomes conscious of itself through the vehicle, the body, the broadcasting device, the one that is here sitting in presence. is the same presence that is aware of its first movement as I. They are one and the same. I am here. I am present. That I amness is the arising space, the movement, the field, the space that is a loving expression of itself. And it arises from that ground of being. It arises as chaos. It arises as obstruction and a grand display of light, fire. And even today, life is chaotic. And things rise out of that ground as chaotic and challenging. But in every moment since the beginning of time, everything that is perfect in this unfolding has always been the outcome from the chaos. And therefore, everything that is occurring in this world today is perfect. There is nothing wrong with what is going on in your world or in the world. Perfection is continuing right here, right now, as it always has since the beginning of time. Everything is arising in perfect unfolding. There cannot be evolution without movement, without chaos, without the Big Bang, without explosions, without things changing, morphing, challenging, obstructing. So when we see these things arising in our field, 
here as the observer holding the space. We are the loving space. And we can hold the space of love and embrace all things because we are the love that embraces all things. Our pure consciousness is unconditional. It holds the entire universe in its loving arms. There is nothing going wrong. To say something is going wrong is saying that God is wrong. And who on the earth has the right to make the statement that something is wrong if everything that is occurring is by perfect and divine intervention? Only the mind and the ego, the separate self, the one that is actually already thinking it's separated from the divine, it is that one that thinks it's separate, that is experiencing separation. Separation cannot exist unless it thinks it's separate. And the thinking comes from the mind, not from the source of divinity itself. I am peaceful being. Full stop. I am that. I am. I am all those things. I am the chaos, I am collapsing, I am exploding, I am all those things. All for the sake of remembering who I truly am. And every experience is an opportunity that points us back through the eye of the needle to remind us who we are. And we are reminded that we are sent nothing but angels. And every single being, every single experience is a mirror, an opportunity to look in the eyes of that mirror and to ask yourself, am I that one? Am I a human being having a human experience? Am I limited by my body, my mind, by the conditioning of others, by our culture? by our country, by our government, by the people? Am I that? Do I play out in that world or do I wake up now and expand and extend my awareness beyond the objects of the content of consciousness? Because now I have the power to move beyond because I am an evolutionary being. And I've been given the power to step beyond, to transcend beyond the third dimension, even beyond the fourth, into the fifth, into the light, beyond the light, into the unified field, into awareness itself. No one, nowhere, no thing no time. Total emptiness. Complete freedom. Darkness and the light are one. I am the light. I am a peaceful being. I am the light. I am a peaceful being. I 
in absolute silence. I cannot be touched. I cannot be hurt. I cannot be controlled. Nothing, nothing can affect me. It's only if you touch the mind that you suffer. Can't you see? It's only when you choose to touch the mind that you think something is wrong, something is happening to you. Nothing is happening to you. Everything is happening for you. Nothing is happening to you. Everything is happening for you. So that you can turn your attention back through the eye of the needle. And remember, this is your true nature of being. This is why you're here. Full stop. And it's from that field where you can arise in the morning and you can create and you can paint and you can dance and you can sing, you can play and you can be new and fresh in every moment and not be held up by anything old, anything that belongs to the past or the future or from the thoughts of others. This, this is fresh every moment. It's from here where you can become the hero of your own story, the producer of your own story the creator of your own world. Fresh, pristine, radiant, joyful, loving. It is here where the divine gives birth to the true you. And then you give birth to an expression of that beautiful loving being. 